<laughs> Quick, get another branch and we defeated it. Moving on. Ah yes, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, a game that so many people have waited to see whether it would be more DLC of Breath of the Wild or an actual sequel to it. I have personally been waiting for this game with bated breath since the very first reveal trailer. I've loved the Zelda series since I was just a little kid, so I just had to talk about the latest gameplay trailer for Tears of the Kingdom despite this video being a bit late. But I have to beg the question, is Tears of the Kingdom a cash grabbing expansion of Breath of the Wild or does it have its own identity apart from its predecessor? So let's start with the world itself. It's very likely that most of the map will seem very familiar to anyone who has explored every nook and cranny in Breath of the Wild. But apart from a few rocks falling from the sky, what else has the Zelda team added to mix things up a bit in the overworld? Well, caves would be a good start, sure, and of course there are the sky islands as well. How about a few underwater sections to expand on the idea of exploring the depths of Hyrule? I mean, just imagine the kinds of enemies and potential caves you can discover while submerged under the sea. I have to give it to Nintendo, there certainly are a lot more areas that can give off that sort of new feeling, just like how it was in Breath of the Wild. So let's talk about the newest and biggest thing in Tears of the Kingdom, being abilities. Aonuma goes into Link's abilities like fusing rocks to your favorite stick or growing your stick making it stronger. And I don't mean just hitting enemies harder. It also seems like the Zelda team listened to all the complaints about weapon durability and your weapons breaking from the slightest bit of wind resistance or bashing a club against a Bacalban skull. So now you got your favorite long stick with a little bit of girth added to it as well. Now the recall ability seems to have a little less going for it than stasis, where before you just froze things in place and let your imagination run its course figuring out what to do with that frozen object before the timer ticks down, but now it seems a little bit more simplified. In other words, taking an object and returning it to its original state, but somehow I feel like people will probably find some creative way to break the game with this ability. Now Ultra Hand, oh boy, Ultra Hand is by far the most interesting of the abilities. I mean, having the ability to stick not just weapons together, but almost any object together creating some insane design. I can't wait to see people just build like the Master Cycle Zero, or hell, I'm sure some genius out there will probably build themselves a Lambo or a Bugatti. As for a Sin, it seems like a cool mechanic slipping through ceilings and caves and stuff, but I mean Link is already known for walking into people's houses and stealing their belongings and breaking pots. I mean, imagine a complete stranger just barging into your house stealing all your valuables, then he just pieces out by leaving through the ceiling. I would think he'd be like the second coming of Jesus. Now I believe without a doubt that this game has the potential to be game of the year for many reasons like the amount of intricate coding it must have took to watch Link Superman himself through some NPC's roof. More importantly. I just hope this trailer was enough to smooth out any suspicions that some people had about the game being more Breath of the Wild DLC, because now it's Breath of the Wild Nuts and Bolts Kingdom. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Tears of the Kingdom. Is it a day one buy, or are you still on the fence about it? Check out my channel for more Zelda and Pokemon related topics, since I will be doing a Master's Quest run of Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom come out. And don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you enjoyed me rambling on about Zelda. And with that, take care and I'll see you guys next time.